Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Easter is fast approaching, and uh, you know what that means, <laughs> chocolate. But experts are warning our favourite sweet treats could be under threat. Josh found out why. Chocolate, chocolate, come get your chocolate. Ooh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> ah, marvellous. Well, that's going to cost you $200 cash or card, and he's gone. Yeah, while it might not be quite this pricey, you might have noticed the cost of chocolate has been on the rise. Price of cocoa is going crazy. It's very worrisome. You see, chocolate is made from cocoa beans, which come from cacao trees. But at the moment, in West Africa, where more than two-thirds of the world's cocoa is produced, there are some big problems. Their crops have been hit hard by things like disease and climate change, with unpredictable rainfall and severe Severe heat waves causing lots of damage. The cocoa that we get from them has dropped by a third of what they can supply, and also that means that their price has doubled. In fact, it's got some scientists worried that if something doesn't change soon, chocolate could become more and more rare. If we don't invest actually in making cocoa plantations more resilient to deal with these extreme heats, the price of cocoa will increase and chocolate will become much more of a luxury product. So you may as well enjoy it while you still can. In moderation, of course. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Thank you very much. A bridge in the US city of Baltimore has collapsed after a container ship crashed into it. The ship was out of control because of a reported power issue and a big investigation is underway. Authorities think six people have died, but they say many lives were saved by a mayday call from the ship's crew, which alerted officials to stop traffic driving onto the bridge before it collapsed. The Socceroos are through to the final round of World Cup qualification. The Aussies had a massive 5-0 win against Lebanon last night in Canberra. Craig Goodwin led the charge with two goals and two assists. And he fires it in, that's a glorious goal! The Socceroos will now head to the third round qualifiers in September to hopefully secure a place at the 2026 World Cup. Right now, millions of people around the world are observing Ramadan. It's a really important religious festival for Muslim people, and we asked some kids to tell us more about it. We're going to tell you all about Ramadan. Ramadan is a really important time for all the Muslims around the world. It marks the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar, and this year, the holy month started on March 12th. It's special to Muslims because it's believed to be the month where Prophet Muhammad وسلم, receives the final parts of the holy book, the Qur'an, from Allah. So what do you do during Ramadan? I'm glad you asked. Ramadan is a time Muslims try to get closer to Allah through things like prayer, fasting, and doing good deeds. Charity is really important to Muslims. It's one of the five pillars of Islam, and it's extra important during Ramadan. The other really important thing we do in Ramadan is fasting. Fasting is also a pillar of Islam. During Ramadan, we fast from dawn till dusk, which means we don't eat or drink anything. But some people don't have to fast, do they? Nope. Everyone doesn't have to fast during Ramadan. People that are young, old, sick or pregnant don't have to fast. The thing I love about Ramadan is that your good deeds get multiplied by 70 times each Ramadan. Everyone's allowed to celebrate because it's not only for Muslims, even non-Muslims can join. It, it's all about making everyone happy. We hope you enjoy learning about Ramadan. Now to a tale of an unlikely friendship between Peggy the dog and Molly the magpie, which has been brought to a squawking halt. You see, the two became a viral sensation online during the pandemic, with Peggy's owner showing off the duo's antics to their 700,000 fans. <laughs> But this week, a knock at the door from the Department of Environment put that to an end by taking Molly away. They say Molly the magpie shouldn't have been kept without a permit and that she was being put in danger. But Peggy's humans don't agree, saying that Molly could have left at any time if she wanted to and that Molly and Peggy had a special connection. So now they're asking their fans to reach out to their local pollies on their behalf to see if Molly can be reunited with her canine pal, Peggy. Well, that's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.